breaking news. There's been an investigation, you know, or should I call it a report, from an investigative journalist who says that the, the, the military has aborted approximately 12,000 pregnancy in the northeast since the insecurity issues started. We all know that, you know, there's been a lot of rape. Apart from rape, you know, all these bandits, they just come to town, take all these girls away, impregnate, impregnate them in some cases. It is rape. We all know the cases of all those chibop girls that were kidnapped. Some of them came with two children, some just one. Some of them came back with pregnancies, you know. And um, maybe this is the way that the uh, military thought that they could, you know, just save the, 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 these girls, just save their life by aborting for them. But the report says that this has been ongoing for years and now the defense headquarters I've also put out a publication disclaiming whatever the the journalist said, calling it a demonic journalism. But before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do all to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Without further ado, let's delve into the details of today's news. The Defense Headquarters, DHQ, is jotted by a publication it called Demonic Journalism, expressing rage over an allegation that since 2013, Nigerians' military had run a secret, systematic, and illegal abortion program in the Northeast, terminating at least 12,000 pregnancies among women and girls. The DHQ declared that the military had never contemplated such evil of running a systematic and illegal abortion program anywhere and anytime, and surely not on the Nigerian soil. The Nigerian military will not also deliberately plan to target children during its counterinsurgency operations or other operations both within and outside Nigeria, it stated. Director Defense Information Major General Jimmy Akpo made this known in a statement while responding to Reuters' series about purported actions of the Nigerian military during the government's 13-year war against Islamist insurgents in the Northeast. While dismissing the allegation, Akko said, This new vocation of Reuters to discredit the Nigerian military and institutions is worse than illegal hamstring, worse than hard drug trafficking, and actually worse than terrorism put together. According to him, the supposed stories were purported to focus on two specific areas, First, supposed military-run program of forced abortions performed on women and girls who were held captive and impregnated by Islamist militants. And second, a supposed killing of children by the military as part of counterinsurgency programs. It went on. The Reuters report was to also allege that since 2013, Nigerians' military had run a secret, systematic, and illegal abortion program in the country's northeast, terminating at least 12,000 pregnancies among women and girls. That many children were shot, poisoned, pardon me, suffocated, or run down by vehicles in army-led actions. Furthermore, the report was to allege that soldiers selected babies and toddlers for killing after rescuing them and their mothers from Islamic militaries, militants, among other weighty concocted allegations. The key motive for supposed, supposedly carrying out the abortions was allegedly the notion that the children of Islamist militants, because of the blood in their veins, 
would one day follow in their father's footstep and take up arm against the Nigerian government and society. The fictitious series of stories actually constitutes a body of insults on the Nigerian peoples and culture for no people or culture in Nigeria practices such evil as dreamt up by the rooters team irrespective of the security challenges we face as a nation nigerian peoples and cultures still cherish life and nigerian military personnel have been raised bred and further trained to protect lives even at their own risk especially when it concerns the lives of children women and the elderly this must this much is reflected in standing operations procedures, concepts of operations, rules of engagement, and other documents that guide military operations. Hence, nowhere has the Nigerian military operated Congo, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Somalia, Rwanda, Yugoslavia, Sudan, Gambia, and Guinea-Bissau, among others that there has been any trace or allegation of infanticide. The Nigerian military will not, therefore, contemplate such evil of running a systematic and illegal abortion program anywhere and anytime, and surely not on our own soil. The Nigerian military will not also deliberately plan to target children during its counterinsurgency operations or other operations, both within and outside Nigeria. Hmm. <laughs> Let me tell you what, <laughs> what I think. I'm going to be blunt. I'm going to seriously be blunt. blunt. Hmm. If you ask the Nigerian military now, they will tell you that uh, military men do not collect bribe on the roadside. But what do we see these days? We see them on the road collecting bribe. Like... Officially, they do not. You get me? So also, this um, news that this journalist came out with saying that um, Nigerian military has been systematically killing um, children and committing abortion for young girls and women. Officially, the Nigerian military might not even be aware of these so-called operations. But underground, we know how Nigeria is. We know how all these things go. Underground, there might be one... Or one or some few bad eggs who are running this thing all i know is that they w in every atom of rumor in every rumor there's an atom of truth you know this might not be what is done officially in the military but there are some bad eggs i bet you running this if you go deep and you know investigate you will find out this is actually true let me know what you all think in the comment section subscribe if you haven't i'll see you in my next video guys bye for now